Barbara, let me uh, bring you into this discussion. You have worked with uh, patients who have had these long uh, chronic illnesses, uh, who are terminally ill. Uh, what's your definition of a good death? A good death, a good death is one that honors the life that's been lived. I would say, and that uh, that depends on a person's values and beliefs. The, indeed, the life that they have lived. You know, if you think of a life, uh, you know, like a play, and the play was fantastic. It was meaningful. The acting was terrific. The characters were compelling. The meaning was persuasive. It was deeply moving. And the last act, everything just went all to heck. And nothing, and nothing really culminated. There was no really pinnacle. There was no catharsis at the at the end. Or it was a devastating experience, and everyone in the theater uh, left with post traumatic stress syndrome. That's not a good play. A good play, like a good death, is one that is of a consistency, and the ending of it is an honor. You know the. I often say that, that death is not something to be run from it because it is inevitable. We cannot run from it. But it is something to be worked toward. Uh, we can all live our lives every day, and that's really what it's about. It's about sucking all the sweetness out of life every minute and every bit of meaning out of our lives so that when death becomes imminent, it doesn't seem premature. It doesn't seem as though we haven't lived. So I would say a good death is one that seems appropriate, it seems right, it seems like the life has been lived, the meaning has been had, and the death honors that.